Hi, welcome to this, um, this video. I've made a video about um, how to install Arch Linux on a system from A till Z and it was on an iPad. So this is on Samsung S8 Plus. The image is better, will be better, the sound, I don't know, we'll see. The thing is, I want to share this knowledge with you guys. You see here that we have a motherboard and you can plug in these SATA cables inside it. Everything else is unplugged, so my son's computer will be undamaged when he'll come back home. But I have hooked this up to test this one here. It's the only thing that's on the motherboard and it's all the way up with a power supply, as you can see. And of course, the cable for the, the, the SATA and the power supply. So the zeros, the red, the red one is carrying my zeros and ones the motherboard now we have to go up so everything is hooked up my uh, the hard disk of my son and SSD and all that is unplugged nothing can go wrong that's a good thing right let's move that out of the way on the desk again and what did we do we did already an, uh, an download of the ISO in this case a build of the ISO put it on an Min and min stick with min stick, we put it on a USB, and here we are at the black screen. So we are going to start with a start button, of course. I have to press in my system F8, so this is me pressing F8, right? You need to be a little bit nervous uh, for uh, the system to kick in, and we need to see this. Okay, let's focus. So I have already installed Arch Linux, as you can see, my P5 Samsung SSD. That's uh, the previous video that which I'm gonna delete the bad resolution. And um, there is also a line down here. Now it depends what USB you have, but you'll see some some text there. But I, I don't even have any text, but probably this will work as well. And this is going to the setup. So first of all. Um, it's important to know that when you buy a PC laptop that settings are possibly set to um, to, 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 uh, to Windows, so you need to change that. So we are going to enter the setup and it's a pretty cool setup on Asus as you can see. It's all nice and graphical, not the old bias we had years ago. So all kinds of information is there available maybe we should zoom in on the motherboard people love to know some techniques technical stuff so there you are it's a um, bias no it does not hear the bias what date it is what version it is temperature is okay so it's very 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 low and it was already working for i don't know an hour or so so everything is okay lots of information we need to go to the advanced mode, which is down here. Because we do not need to go to the boot menu. It depends, of course, in uh, different laptops and PCs. It's going to be named differently. I can show you guys. So this is back to the menu earlier on. So escape. No, that's not what I want. I need to go into advanced mode. And then say yes, enter advanced mode. And that's... Um, well, different again in different uh, in different motherboards and it's so one hardware, but mainly the names are probably similar or even the same. We go to AI Tweaker. Let's take a have a look here. Nothing to tweak, nothing to do for me for installing Arco Linux. Advanced. We need to check this one out. CPU configuration. Why? Because probably later I will want to install uh, VirtualBox and I would like to have this Intel virtualization technology. I would like that to be enabled. And that's my choice here. So yes, say yes, okay. If you see something with virtual, that's um, if you want to have VirtualBox or VMware or anything like that working on your system. So yes, please enable. Still nothing to do how to boot from your system. Some uh, speeds from fan speeds, rotations per minute and all that, okay. 
to the arrow with arrow right you move around by the way with arrows uh, it's all explained here so take a look at that and then okay you know what to do with all these arrows and then we have this um, text here fast boot and let's go all the way down to CSM compatible support module that's one you should look for and you can enable this thing launch CSM which is fine it's enabled and the boot device control I told him to take both of them so whatever is available just uh, I have two options now you know it will always work so that's good and you can then go back and then of course we have this secure boot thing that I invented secure boot used to be Windows UFI mode so if you see somewhere Windows UFI mode is oh no 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 that will not work we need other OS which is uh, Linux of course so take a look at this boot secure boot, uh, <laughs> secure boot men menu and be sure that it is not set not not set to Windows UFI mode but something else so if that's set then you're probably good to go uh, the question is of course how to save it and then again we have a look here and it says F10 save maybe zoom or focus a little bit maybe it's better to focus from a little bit further so F10 I'm pressing F10 now and it says hey do you want to save the configuration and reset yes please enter and now we ha can actually go inside this USB but we need to press like always when we boot uh, it depends not always there is escape there is f2 escape f2 uh, f8 in my case there is has been a delete as well so it depends what hardware you have if you don't know how to get to this menu so you have to google and say okay this is my um, my hardware maybe a name even a brand name so Dell I don't know what name and then a type 300 and then you type keyboard shortcut setup or keyboard shortcut UFI or keyboard shortcut bias something like that and then you'll learn that it's F2 or it's escape and so on so we move down and we go to well this one or that one I think either will do and then you pop up uh, pop into the boot menu for UFI and then of course we're going to boot into our system so that's all you need to know to be able to have a Linux system on your PC if you have all the settings. Uh, you have to set the settings right to be able to. Okay, trying to focus here, fine. And then I'm gonna save a little bit of a video. Since there are lots of tutorials out there how to install Arch Linux. As long as you get if you get to this thing here, this graphical uh, presentation to install it, then all's fine. And then you just do the the general installation. I still have here one minute thirty seconds. I might try to pop that in as well. So Brussels, I have a limit that seems of ten minutes. I don't know why. Next erase disk. Next. So I'm Eric. And let's skip that, like so. It has been a, an, an, I don't know, procedure to do. And there you go. So here I'll cut the video in, well, I'll stop it. And so remember, there are some elements you need to focus on. And then you can have a Linux system. All right, cheers.